So in that time frame, I started, you know, really focus on meal prepping. I started focusing on different things that, that can really, you know, help me out. So after I finished the book, you know, I waited a little bit and I was like, you know what? I do got to do this course. Because Chris kept reminding me, he's like, oh, you got to. He said, yo, so you, you think about doing a course? After I did the book, he said, why don't you? He said, yo, you already got the book. He said, now you can use the course, match the course with the book. I was like, all right, cool. So, by the way, the book is called Hitting the Raw, Living the Raw, Plant-Based Lifestyle for Life. But the principles in it are not just for raw vegan. You can use it to become vegan, you know, and plant-based as a whole. It just, I use raw because that, that's my template. You feel me? So, I take that time after that to actually start brainstorming, writing down what's going to go on the course, how do I need to present it, what's going to happen, how am I going to make it, you know, real scientific and professional, or should I continue to put the, the system that I set up with the book to where it's like, oh, it's a whole down to earth format, like, you know, you're just talking, you feel me? So, at that point, I started to, to build on that, but it was, it was now going to get a little different because as I'm working on this, as I'm about to start working on the course, I got promoted and I got moved to a, uh, a different site. So when I got moved to this site, this site was, it was a different stress. Me and the client, you know what I mean? We, it, it, it was just a different stress. I'm not gonna get too deep into that. But again, that tacked on. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm building the course, trying to run this concurrent. It's a lot going on. It's, it's, it's getting colder. So again, my mind is already off that. You know what I'm saying? So again, while I'm building it, I'm still like, let me eat this and see. And then at, at that point, it was like, yo, all right, life is getting harder now. Like my thoughts are getting, I, I'm, now I was able to tell it from the, like, yo, I'm not thinking right. Like, how did I forget that within five minutes? Like my memory shouldn't be like that. Like it went from being at a point where people can identify, like, yo, you got a photographic memory, don't you? Nah, I don't, I just, the faculties work better because there's better fuel in them. So um, it goes from there and I'm building the course. I'm really brainstorming. I'm really like going in because I'm like, I got to pick this shit apart. So I went back to the book. I, what things that I not include in the book that need to go in the course so you can see. So I went back in and I really, really, really restructured it. So I finished the course in January finished the course in January but I also had to consider how do I give this information as thick and heavy as this information is how can I give it to you within a short time frame so you can get it that is another factor that I, that I had to play into I don't want like I didn't want any of the videos to be any more than 10 to 15 minutes because your attention span is there you feel me that's why each video even even the ones that extend probably like 11 12 even 15 minutes they're split in half and there's a first half of information there's a second half of information you feel what I'm saying? So it's not like you're just sitting through a lecture. You feel me? It's just like really like a conversational piece. So I got, you know, real, real wrapped up in that. And then so I took that information out. Granted, it's 2018. I just finished this. It's April. Well, it's March. Aprilish, whatever. It's March, but it'll be April soon. So I finished, you know, the course in December. Um, well, the, the hard work part. You feel me? Then I, you know, set up the, the accounts and did everything that I need to do within that of January. So from there, you know what I mean, I was like, yo, let me let me get back in this shit. I said, I'm not eating this shit no more. Like, yo, this shit is, it's, it's problematic now. My memory is gone, my, my attention span, all of that shit. I was like, this is what people have to deal with when they're trying to become plant-based. And nobody's like telling them that we, we, we condemn and condemn them and we, we talk condescendingly to them and we say, you can do it. No, they can't. Not that easily. It's not that easy. It's not what people think it is. You're not just, you don't just stop eating it. You feel what I'm saying? There's a lot that goes into it. So that's how the course came about. You feel what I'm saying? And my experiment, my, my <laughs> evil doctor experiment, it paid off. You feel what I'm saying? Because I was able to see it. Like, yo, in that. Now, when, so when I look back on hindsight, I'm like, yo, I didn't go cold turkey. I didn't. I had this wealth of information and I had it, you know what I'm saying, structured so well that in my head, that once it was like, yo, go plant-based. It was like, okay, this is how you do it. This is why it's important. This is what works. And that's what I packaged into the, the course, which is the Hitting the Raw program.